Yeah, just got to Luxembourg after a three hour bus from Brussels. Forget where I am, forget where I've been. The flat is great. I mean, it's just little old me. Well, little old me, I'm like six or five. But there's a lot of space. I think there's even like Alexa or something in this place. So, I mean, and a big STV. I will show you. I'll give you a little quick tour. It's me. We've got bedroom, the kitchen, living room. Then like dining room, which I've already put my art supplies on, and then BAM! Awkward. Such a traveller, baby! Mm. Okay, so yesterday was a bit of a fail. Everywhere was shut, and I wanted to go out and get a sketchbook, because I've, I've run, I've run, I've bought like seven sketchbooks with me. But they're all different papers and all for different things. So I was like, nah, I'm gonna. Because I watched Minnie Smalls' YouTube the other day and I was like, she has just using one sketchbook and she's going for it page by page and each page looks amazing. It's like a cohesive thing. And I'm like, ah, that's what I wanna do. So I wanna go and get a sketchbook. So that's the first thing. Because yeah, yesterday was a bit of a fail because everything was shut and I wanted to just have a walk around. The place is beautiful. Okay, time to go. I was debating about my outfit for too long and I decided on black and black and black and black and black. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Get there and paint bitches. I'll work out how. Some scurry shit. So I'm closer, but still not quite. How the fuck did you get there? Down, 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 down. Well, that just brought me out the other end. Exactly how bridges should work. Now I'm going down. It's just promising. <laughs> Nearly there, nearly there! Holy shit, I did it. I'm pure. I'm fucking knackered. Not bad. Get all the way here and realise the only snack I brought with me is myself. No. Oh. So I thought while I was there, I would so I thought I'd give myself a little test of trying to draw the whole scene using just one colour. Because I think pastels are great at getting different textures and stuff, and I didn't want to hide behind using a multitude of colour to try and get, you know, to try and show depth in different trees and stuff. So I thought I'd do the whole scene in one colour, so I've got to really think about my mark making. And I'm quite happy with how it turned out. It's no masterpiece by any means, but I mean I think I definitely learned a lot about making different marks and different different textures and shapes with pastels, so that's good. This is the finished result. I don't know how long I've been in. But it's been like one and a half playthroughs of lemonade. That's how I judge time. No, everyone's put in and scrub their names with their love and who they're in a relationship with. Who am I gonna put? Hummus? <laughs> it's quite cool that the city's on two different levels. Now I just gotta work it out of there. How do I get back out there? Let's 
Excuse me, I didn't cook. There's an elevator that takes you all the way back up. Saves my little legs. Did I just spend 17 euros in chocolate for myself? Yes, I did. Did I just get off the phone to my mum last night saying I was gonna curb my spending? Yes, I did. She was like, oh, can I put more in the same bag? And I was like, yes, honey, the same bag's fine because you're all going in the same stomach. Hmm. So yesterday I bought two sketchbooks, which I didn't really need anymore because I've already got quite the collection I'm lugging around on my back. But you can never have too many. So I started with this one. So just drawing some figures and then this was this was a tree study with pastels. Then this one I wanted to do like a mark making experiment and just see if I can try and get as much texture, different textures as possible just using the same colour. So that was a study from when I was sitting down uh, drawing yesterday. This was a little Valentino moment. It's just a random sketch and then that's where I am so far. So I'm gonna do some more drawing today and hopefully do some proper illustrations because I haven't really done any proper ones yet. So for, before I crack on with some proper full illustrations, I'll just do a few tests and a few warm-ups in my sketchbook. So my go-to for any fashion illustration, like design-wise lately, is Richard Quinn. Just because I love his designs and I'm enjoying, you know, drawing and painting a lot of prints lately. And his prints are always insane. So I thought I'd just do some watercolor warm-ups. Um, I haven't done a fashion illustration in a, quite a while, so I feel like I needed just to do a few of these just to, to break me in a bit easy, you know? trying to find out a pose that would work with it. So we've got a few ideas, but I think I'm gonna head with this one. So let's see how it goes. We're gonna either do really good or fuck it up. Okay, plot down the basic sketch. So I'm just doing the outline with a 0.1 fine liner because I think they're the best for just to jot the basic line down. Nothing too detailed, nothing over, just a basic outline so then I can paint on top of that and then work into it more. So what I like to do when I'm, uh, when I'm painting is to just load up a lot of different tones on the same brush. So not to just use a brush to get one single colour but to get like some shadows, highlights and everything all in one brush stroke. I spent most of yesterday just drawing. To so these, this and this. I was trying to sort out a pose for a full illustration and then that's just swatches for the colours I was using. Quite like the look of these. This was just a mess. 
I wanted to like print stick the pages together or rip them out, but I'm staying strong. And this is just poses, because I'm trying to, just feeling frustrated. I need to go to life drawing classes or something, because I'm trying to figure out the poses I want to do, and I just can't. And then just some random sketches. So I feel like getting a good start on that sketchbook, so that's good. Okay, so I'm checking out in a couple of minutes because I'm going to catch a train to Strasbourg. And so I've been in Luxembourg for like two days and the place is beautiful. There's not a lot to do, to be fair. So yeah, I just spent the time lapping up the scenery, trying to get inspired. And then now I'm going to hop on a train to Strasbourg where I'm there for a couple of days. So that's this video over now. So if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more of my travel videos, then subscribe and then comment below if you've been to Luxembourg and what you thought. But I'll see you guys in Strasbourg, bye. No, I've just seen, I've forgotten about my tea. Oh.